All right, hey, Shalom Makyam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Samo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to Holy Scriptures, where God chose a people. Shalom to all the brothers out there, pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters. And shalom to the Israelite foreigners who were scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one ignorant called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one ignorant called God, the one ignorant called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means He exists. The existing one, Bahashim means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. The Lord and Savior is coming back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of modern day Babylon, aka America. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. But pretty much the Mosai is bringing everything to a head, and, and also is a lot of information. Coming out about what's going on in society And certain women are getting hip to it Not talking about you sisters in the faith Women outside the faith are getting hip to what's really going on And they try to buckle down They trying to get right now And they seen everything in, in, in more so And in, 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 I would say that the fantasy is almost over for a lot of them man. they seen the truth Okay, I seen one video Last week of a Latina saying like, you know, what the whole purpose of dating is roughly paraphrasing, you know, then with you men out here, um, do you do, are you aware that the government is trying to kill us? Can you, ha, do you have any survival skills and things of that nature? And that's, and that's what it's coming down to. And a lot of men are waking up to the shenanigans that you women have been, you know, have the liberty to do to us and hey, men are going their own way. Ultimately, the men of the Lord. That's came I've come back to the to their power, taking responsibility for their actions. They 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 um their sins they 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 pass uh iniquities and we're manning up. So any brother that's in the faith under the right tutelage, we we're not gonna tolerate a lot of things from you women no more. It's it's, it's a wrap, you know. We we've been um would you say uh <laughs> our, our faith has been hardened. All right, our faith has been hardened, and that's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But outside of uh, the tabernacle of David, the Lord willing we are, you have other men out there that's like, yo, to hell with this shit. They're seeing what's going on themselves. They're reading the scriptures like this one brother I'm about to show, and they're saying to hell with you women, man. And we've been saying that from the apostles and elders on down. When shit at the fan, uh, all, all the, the, the Facebook, all the Instagram, all the... um. You know, POF, all the websites, all that, all you women that's on there, you, you're you're pretty much fucked. You American women, you're pretty much fucked. Was the nice woman? You're doomed, man. You see, for the for the sisters and most sides is, is going to wake up, or waking up, they're going to be in good straits. Word straits a position of difficulty because it's going to get, it's going to be harsh out here. But the Israelite man shall be a cover from the storm that's coming. The elect men. If you're not inside our circle, Lord, we are. You're pretty much F U C C K K K K. You're doomed, man. It's getting real. Find you somebody that you semi like and then duck the f off. You see that part right there where she says it's getting real? It is. For women. A man is typically going to need less protection than a woman will, seeing as how we're going into the era where the value of the dollar is dropping and people are losing their jobs. Protection is going to become the highest commodity. I understand what she's saying. The oppressor has put in our way plenty of obstacles that stop us from being with one. Right. You see this one young brother, you know, peace to that brother, man. Shalom. If, you, if, if anybody run across this video, and you brothers that on TikTok, not brothers in GMS, any of you jakes that's following, coming back to the law, statute, commandments of the Most High, you're not supposed to have long hair, you know. That's not part of our culture, being a Hebrew Israelite, when the commandments was given to us. So that's just, you know, food for thought. But it's beautiful to see. Young men, Israelite men on this level, man. To hell with, with the society, to hell with you women. We got something greater that's coming, and he, he figured out there is an oppressor. 
Like something is not right. You women have been given too much liberty. And ultimately it's prophecy. A woman shall, shall compass a man. It's not enough with the Israelite man, the sons of God, and the rest of you nations. Because only in America, man, I believe child support is, ru is running wild. I don't believe there ain't no child support in China and nothing that, that crazy shit. Family court, whatever. So that this is definitely Babylon. Now, I know this for a fact. There ain't no child support in Mexico for, for the Iskarite brothers. You know what I'm saying? That, that the brothers will tell you. That's wicked as hell. So you women have been given all this liberty. Now you about to get fucked up. Like I said, no more Instagram, no more OnlyFans. All that shit is about to be done away with. So it's going to be either you part of the elect or you're doomed. Another because our biological attractions to one another have been thwarted. Women don't necessarily need men because they can get handouts from the government and or they can just work for themselves. Men don't necessarily need women because we've always been able to do all the other shit that women can provide aside from sex. Only problem with this is the table is about to tilt in the men's favor. Women look for provision and protection, but provision ain't gonna matter in a minute. Protection will. Men want women to cook, clean, be submissive, and give them sex, but in the time of calamity, none of that shit's gonna matter. The only thing that matters when chaos erupts is safety. And men ain't looking for female protection. So I hope the end of this video where she said find somebody that you kind of like and duck the fuck off she was talking to women. Because you ain't gonna be shit to us but a burden unless we actually love you. When I'm faced with life and death, no amount of vagina thrown at me gonna matter. And you better submit to everything I say, otherwise you're gonna get both of us killed. And to just kind of like you ain't good enough for me to put my life on the line. You better be something I'm willing to die for. Sharpen your archery skills and get your shooting and your canines together, ladies, because all that talk about you being strong and independent, well, your chicken's finna come home to roost. This society is about to make you prove it. And for once in our existence... And that's a fact, man. Because that's how bad it's going to be out here. All right? It's going to be brutal as hell. To where an Israelite man shall be precious as fine gold. Everything the Lord's saying, man, has said in scriptures will come to pass. And Babylon will be that threshing floor. And who's going to catch it the most? You women. Independent, loudmouth, child support. You and your mama. Going to get smashed out here, man. This ain't no joke. Since I can honestly say that men are probably going to be a little bit more happy that you don't need us. Watch how fast this gender war ends. It's going to be a lot of begging and going back to your ex. The scripture said that. The men you took advantage of and whose children you took away, well, just know the police can't protect everybody. Shit, they quitting in droves now. I wonder how much Punani broke boys going to deserve in that day. Even your father's the elders right now, so don't think you're going to be able to run to daddy. Remember that movie The Purge? Well, aside from it being fiction, just know most of the women that survived in that movie had a man protecting them. And buying together like a pack of feminists at a woman's march ain't going to help you then. You're going to look like a pack of deer to the bad men. I can't speak for every man, but I'm only protecting the women that love me and that I love. So you better look in the comment section to see if men feel the same way. And don't go in there running your fucking mouth neither, because no amount of shaming or insults is going to get us to change our mind. Not to mention, it may be some of And that's a fact. Women don't love running your damn mouth. It's an Israelite woman. Start with a black woman. It's going to be no more of that day, man. People's heads going to be getting blown off. Women are going to be getting raped, cut up in pieces, trade off for sex. It's going to be nasty as fuck, man. All your makeup, all your Maybelline, all that shit is going to be obsolete. And this ain't no tangent, this, this is just facts. These are the videos people are seeing out here now. The Heavenly Father made, made TikTok available. TikTok, time is running out, man. It's only the elect, the elect ladies is going to make up out of here. Whoever the most I chose to make up out of America's majority of y'all are going to perish, man. I'm not, it is not even no joke. It's just a fact, man. The Mosai is very, is highly upset with a lot of Israelite women, man. The black woman, Latina woman, all the way down. He's highly upset with a lot of Israelite men. That's why a man shot, because you men going to get it too. You sodomites, bisexual, uh, uh, transphobia, I mean transphobia, I mean trans, transformer ass looking motherfuckers. The Heavenly Father is about to bring heavy judgment out here in, in May. And we can't wait. That whole Travis Scott shit, that was, man, that was, that was amazing to me. But there's more to come, man. More to come. I have to mention bad men in there. The day is slowly coming with a question about what do you bring to the table is going to be irrelevant. Keita's a smart woman, and I'm not saying that she is, but at the end of this video, I ain't see all that brilliance. I saw nothing but fear. We living in a time period where people are dying in concerts. Ask yourself this question, how many men defended any of them? And you women that like to show off your body and toy with men's sexual urges will just know them sexual images have been saved in men's minds. Face included. So get your money up. Because if they fuck around and go to something like cryptocurrency, your shit gonna be worth as much as Monopoly cash. And for those of you that are believers, get on your knees and pray, lady. But just know that your prayers can't be answered until you send it through your husband first and he send it to Christ and then he send it to God. Damn, that's heavy. That proves this brother been studying. 
See, a lot of y'all women that, that dealt with the men of the Lord, you thought you had the upper hand over us. Not knowing, you didn't know that scripture. You motherfuckers and the most I reject to you. But another thing he said, get your money up. You better get your spiritual money up. You, you need to get it right with Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's your spiritual money because money is going to be obsolete. You know, we're moving towards the MOTB, the Karagma. But it's good to have something right now if you can. But a lot of these women don't, man. A lot of these women don't, man. It's just a fact. They ain't got no fucking survival plan. A lot of them women that think they got friends, they, they're not their friends. They love a man, he's going to wax cold. You people are going to bug out. That's what it means to be covered. You better quit wasting time trying to find a perfect man to find a good one. Ever seen the book of Eli? Mila Kunis would have been done for had she not run into Denzel. I'm not trying to scare you, but my birth name ain't Moses for no reason. And just remember the Israelites that didn't listen to him got consumed by them plagues in Egypt. Most high been upstairs looking down at his black sons get ripped to shreds in every way for circa 400 years now. Meanwhile, Christ... Not only is it's, you know, staying, this ain't no black thing. You're not, not getting on this, brother. But a so-called Latino men, Native American men been getting ripped to shreds too. This is an Israelite thing. But who's a, the face of it? Judah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a Benjamite, but the house of Judah, so I'm, I'm fitting that category too. You, know, you understand? This is an Israelite thing, but they always start at the head tribes. You see? So the Lord is bringing all this to a head, man. He's about to fuck shit up and preserve his chosen. It's Michael, the archangel of war and defense and a legion of angels, are suiting up in their heavenly armor to come down here and lay waste to this earth. Scripture said when Christ crack open that sky, he's going to come down here and slaughter two-thirds of Israelites and the heathen, and then he's going to send back up to the sky, and his entire garment going to be soaked in blood. Ladies, you better be a part of that third. And that's a fact, man. It's getting real. Yup, shit is getting real. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Shimei Oshai. And Lord willing, that brother, you know, come to the true doctrine, but he's, he's shit. He's on a good road because a lot of you men out here are full of shit, man. Full of shit. So the Lord is raising up the real men that's going to take responsibility and, and come back to their duties to be future rulers of this earth. And a lot of a lot of hypocrisy, a lot of wickedness is about to get rubbed out, man. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 20 said, Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness. So righteousness will be, be pushed throughout the four corners of the earth. And princes, right, shall rule in judgment. Those princes are the, the elect men under Yahweh Shai, the, the 144 and the one third. Starting off with the 144, that's the government body under Yahweh Shai. Those are the true rulers. And the man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. A man. Okay, what type of man? The Israelite man, the elect men. Okay, shall be a hiding place from the wind because we're going to have protection. The most side going to be taking care of us. Brother's going to have spiritual power. Brother's going to be healing people. And anybody come to try to fuck with us, the Lord's going to give us power to kill everybody. Things of that nature, man. So when people, hey, the scripture is saying the day of thy power, that people shall be willing. So people seeing that, they go, oh, man. Oh, it, yo, go check out that cartoon movie, Fist of the North Star, man. Go check that shit out. You give you an idea of, of, of pandemonium. Yo, I don't want to give it away. When, more, when people have power, the, 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 the weak, uh, 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 um, the weak flock to them, man. That that movie, that that cartoon, Japan Amazing, that's a classic. Yo, that's some real shit. You know, a man shall be a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place. And that's the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So that's how bad it's going to be out here. The lack of food, the lack of water. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a weary land to live. And the eyes of them that see shall not be dim. And the ears of them that hear shall hearken. You know? That's when people are going to listen. When brothers have that power, you know, healing the, the elect. Because only the elect is going to get healed. So that's, that's what's getting ready to come, come to pass real soon, man. Right, so that's how bad it's gonna be out here, man. To where, hey, just like hey, the Jake was mentioning, mentioning on uh, the Book of Eli, you know, but Book of Eli po shows a post-apocalyptic means after it ain't gonna be no. Once the missile hits, that's it. Is are you part of the elect, you know, or are you gonna be left here to burn? That's the icing on the cake. This is Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse eleven it says, "I will punish the world." For their evil. Going to the word world there is dealing with the globe. 
All right, the whole entire planet about to be punished. You know, by Yahweh by Shem Shai. All right, the habitable part, the earth. All right, the earth is about to feel the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Shai. All right, it says the habitable globe right there. It says fertile in inhabited inhabit inhabited earth and the habitable globe the whole earth by the field of wrath of Yahweh by Shimei he's, he's gonna allow Esau to swore to get busy then you have the angelic forces and all that bad times evil times we in man it says I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity right the wicked is Esau was iniquity sin, transgressions against the laws of the Heavenly Father. There's laws in, in the universe you must keep. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. And that's dealing with America, dealing with Esau. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. But you're going to have other men out there. You have the, uh, the shelters, they have weapons and all that. You know? But ultimately, they're going to get wiped out too. So that man that's going to be more precious than fine gold is the Israelite man. The elect. So one of, starting up with 144,000. Even men than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and the day of his fierce anger. Yep, the day of his fierce anger. All right? So everybody that's, you know, caught up in their own little vein life, chasing these American dreams, your independent ladies, <laughs> you're pretty much screwed. Especially you men out here as well. Okay? The day of the Lord's fierce anger is, is, is speedily approaching. And it shall be as a chase row, and as a sheep that no man take it up, they, sh they, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. So that, that's been happening. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Everyone that's left in America shall be put to death. That's what it means, tr thrust through. Everyone that's joined unto them shall fall by the sword. It means joined unto the system. You know, you're still working for the, um, the police force or in the military. Took them jabs. You know, you, you, you're going to die too. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. So, hey, all you women that's on these WIC programs, different baby dads, you know, <laughs> this this what you're going to witness. Okay, your children going to be killed in front of you. In front of you, man. That's what's coming to America from these foreign troops. Okay, and various things like that. Their little children will be dashed to death before their eyes. Their homes will be sacked and their wives will be raped. Uh-oh, the NLT raped. All right, so this is when you people all, you know, can't get over that. What you going to do, man? You can't protect your wives and, hey, these are the things that's about to happen. Okay, because you how about Shimei was shy. It's fed up, man. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 32. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel, travel there through. So it's going to, um, you know, the, the, the regular places that people use, you know, travel or go on hikes or whatever the hell, you know, it's going to be covered with grass, with thorns, you know, because that's how, it's like Book of Eli when he went down to New York. You see grass growing out of the cracks of the concrete. It's going to be like that in certain places, man. Okay? It says, in the wars shall the bridegrooms be destroyed. What wars? World War III? And various other things that's about to take place? Bridegrooms are these men. Period. The Israelite men, all right? The so-called white men, anyone that's in America and get drafted, whatever, you're going to die in these wars. All right. 
In the war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. So even if, like I said earlier, you got the people out here with these different bug out plans, escape plans, they're going to die too. So only ones that's going to be precious than fine gold is the Israelite man. The elect. Hear now these things and understand them. He's serving the Lord. Behold, the word of the, the, word of the Lord receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw it nigh and are not slack. Things are moving fast, man. So I'm going to play that part again. It's getting real. Find you somebody that... What she said? It's getting real. Find you... Shit is getting real. Shalom.